Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean. Welcome to my channel. And today, of course, after going 1800 gems deep on the one banner, which by the way, if you haven't checked out, make sure to do so. It should be up before this, so check that out first and then come here. If not, all right, just watch this. But yeah, as you can tell, the one is finally here and I have, in my opinion, the best team for him, the crit team. And I'll show you guys why, because we'd be one-shotting anyone turn one. And if they have Liz, Goddess Liz, it, it don't matter. I don't care. I'll take away Rez once and then kill him again. So, yeah. So, I'll be doing on Geared, of course. I did give him full UR gear. I will be doing it on regular Elite PvP, because at the moment, for Ranked, I'm actually trying to push. So, I want to use uh, Wine Food. But so I'll be doing elite first. There's actually a bunch of real players on elite, surprisingly. But yeah, this is a team anyways. The one, of course, Ludosio for his passive, Green Gother, and then Death Pierce in the back for his passive as well. But before we get into that, if you are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, I'll be posting here pretty much daily. I want to see what it's like for a top 100 player on the global side of Grand Cross, and what it's like whether that be PvP videos like today, uh, summons, guide videos. Or just tips and tricks in general, anything related to Grand Cross, make sure to subscribe and also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's video and the absolute insane damage you're about to see. But enough of that, let's get straight into the first game. Using CC food here, unfortunately, my the one is only 4 6 and my Ludosio is only 3 6. Besides that, Green Gother is maxed and Death Pierce is maxed as well. But everything about them, all their gear, everything is completely maxed. 15% rolls on everything. The only thing holding me back is dupes. And here we have a real player on the line, judging from the lag. So let's see what we have. Hopefully I go first. If we do, then I'll show you what this team is capable of. We do go first. All right, actually, yeah, we do go first. Okay. Unless he's running a void food... I think we can kill his Escanor turn one. Watch this. Watch this. If we were load, I right, upgrade Escanor once. This should one shot him, and this should one shot him again. So let's look at this. Unless he's running a void food. All right, he's down. And then next. All right, close. If we merged, we would have got him down, but he's bait. Rez is gone. And he won't be able to do the same thing to me. Because he does not have Ludosio. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a Death Pierce in the back. So let's see. If he puts up a shield, I will just uh, use Ludosio to take it off. So. It's unlucky. If I. I need to upgrade his weapons a bit more. Oh, he's going for double Eskinor cards. He's not... Yeah, he's not going to do anything. Look at that. Escanor is really not that good by himself. I mean, he still hits hard, don't get me wrong. But yeah, he's not, he's not hitting nearly as hard. So here, what I'll do, actually, is... Upgrade Escanor. I'll do this just in case to see if it kills him. And if not, then Escanor will finish it. All right, all right, go for go for Liz, go for Liz, go for Liz. Ah, oh, close, close. As you can see, there, insane damage, and we're gonna get full uh, Escanor passive. Unfortunately, we didn't get any cards for him, which is unlucky. So if he stuns here, he can't stun my Ludosio though. So I do have a bunch of cards for him, so I can probably kill his Goddess Liz. But let's see. He is going to put up a shield. Oh, he's throwing my Escanor. See, look, that's actually a bad idea. Because if I did have cards for him, he would just get out of that next turn. I mean, he's going to get out of it regardless. Like, look at this. Yeah, he's immune. So, I'll do this. Break the shield and then attack that Liz. And the Liz is dead. Just like that.
Next, I will upgrade the one to give him a level two and then attack that Meliodas. Oh, he's ranking him up and then going for... Going for Escanor. All right. But here, I will rank up Escanor, attack Meli, and then ult with Lodosio. This for sure gets the Meliodas down. Yeah, look at that, 222,000 damage. And then we'll ult that uh, Gilther. We won't kill him, but we'll just do some damage on him. Can I get some Escanor cards? Okay, nice. He's not going to kill anyone. At least I don't think so. Yeah, but the game's over. If he does ult me, I will... If he doesn't kill me, I'll get full, basically full health back. Yeah, because of uh, this week's PvP rule. Yep. And let's just do this. Let's see if we can actually get him down. He isn't lowered anymore from his uh, defense related stats. Yeah, probably not going to crit as much. Yeah. But yeah, there you guys have it. Game number one. Unfortunately, if we did a bit more damage on turn one, we could have killed Espinor twice. But as you clearly saw, we still took off Rez first turn. And he couldn't do the same for me. He couldn't do the same when it was his turn. And he had to kill me. Had to kill. He tried to kill my Espinor. He actually raked him up. But he didn't even do half my health. And that's because... Running Escanor on the Gluider team, so if, let's just say you switch out Lost Lane for Escanor, the one, he's not basically going to crit. But here though, here, I think we have a one shot. So rank up, do this, and then a level, a level three, just in case he's running a Void Food. And then the Ryan Star yells dead. Go for, uh... What are you going for? Droll? Oh, if he would have crit. If he would have crit, Droll would have died. But look at that. Sario got absolutely destroyed. Uh... Might be a bot. Rank up and then... Taunt? Ooh, petrify. Alright, so I will do this, do that, and then try and kill that, uh, Gothen. If my, uh, Eskinor crits. Oh, I feel to crit twice, yeah. Can I get some Eskinor cards? I can't. Even though he's going to be immune next turn, he won't be able to do anything because he doesn't have any cards. So just, it probably is a bot. Please don't kill my there. Actually, yep, yeah, kill him so I get more cards. Nah, nah I'm not going to be enough. But here though, actually I want to use a level 3 of Rudosio. This does actually insane numbers, and since they are attack weakened, not no attack, weakened, they are defense for the stats weakened. Yeah, look at that, almost two hundred thousand damage. Oh, got a nice Escanor card here. He is about to take this to the face. Let's see if we can finish it off with uh, the one real quick. Ah, oh, crit, crit right here. Casual, 306,000 against Seldris. Look at that. The one. Of course. I saw it. He's such a beast. Yeah, as I said before, this is, in my opinion, the best team to run for him. However, it takes a lot of investment because I'll show after this match. More so... My Ludosio is completely maxed, as I said, and Death Pierce. And Death Pierce, 
his CC is still pretty low. He is around barely over 51,000 CC. And that's actually pretty good for a Lodosio. Not a Lodosio, a, a Death Pierce. But here though, if he's not running a Void Food, we will guarantee, I guarantee you, we are killing that Lost Vein twice. Without a doubt in my mind. So look at this. This is I the ideal hand. Basically one shot anyone in the game. Casual 429,000. And then another level 3. 329,000. Without a crit on the first one I believe. And Lost Vein is dead. And there goes his main damage. And the game's over. That's basically what this team is. You can one shot anyone. Turn 1. Uh, let's see, probably a bot, doesn't really matter though, because if, even if it was real player, we still would have got absolutely destroyed. And I'll do this so he can't rush ults. Yeah, look at that, 127,000. On a level 1. Type neutral. Oh, I got, okay, I got a, another... Two single targets with him. The one that has uh, Flood, which does 0.8% additional damage equal or additional damage for every percent of remaining HP on self. So right here he has a bunch of HP remaining. So he's going to be hitting like a truck. How much damage against Gotha? One shot, 207,000 against Gother, a crit, who has one of the, who has, yeah, one of the highest, like, defense rated stats for a unit in the game. And he got crit on like it was nothing. But yeah, he's such a beast. Actually, I didn't mention the team, like, in depth, so I'll go over that real quick. So, very briefly. Of course, Escanor, if you don't know what he does, just basically is a god. His passive, the one, basically a small paragraph, but applies one buff effect which increases all stats by 6% at the start of the ally's turn. And when there are three stacks of the, this effect, the hero removes debuffs and gains debuff immunity for one turn. After that, the stacked buffs are removed one by one and, uh, until only one buff is left, adding buffs to the stack again. So it, it repeats, so it goes, starts at one, and then works its way up to three after three turns. Then after three turns, it then lowers back down to two and then one. So yeah, it goes one, two, three, then back to two, one. And then when you hit three stacks, you get debuff immunity and you get max passive. So increasing all of your stats by, what is that? 18% at three stacks, which is huge. And of course, as I said, he has this first attack super slash, which has flood damage. And as I said, Flood, 0.8% additional damage for every percent of remaining HP on self. And the second card is just the raw attack skill. And Supernova, 240%, 360, and then 600. And his ult, it has death damage, brand new mechanic to the game, which is absolutely insane. At 6-6, six, six, it's one-shots anyone twice. Even at 4-6, I've been one-shotting anyone twice as well. But yeah, it inflicts damage equal to whatever percent you have for the ult level of attack on one enemy and inflicts additional death damage. I have level 4 or ultimate rank 4. So at rank 4, death is 55% of final damage as additional damage. If you have him 6-6, six, six, that turns into 100% additional damage. So whatever you hit on the ult, which is usually like upwards like five to 600,000, you do it again. So let's say they have res, you do that. You one shot him, you one shot him again. And let's say they don't have res, you one shot someone, and then you one shot someone else. But here, I didn't get the start, unfortunately. However, I will do the same. And I think it is a real player, judging by the lag. So if he can get some double crits here, we should be able to kill this Eskimo twice. Now there's once. Need to crit twice. Ah, barely. And he might try to do the same. However, as I said, Escanor doesn't really crit by himself. As you'll see here. Look, he's gonna rank him up. The whole thing, the whole shabam. And he doesn't crit. 
Level threes, by the way. Yep. Level threes. And he didn't one-shot me. However, what I'm about to do to him is uh, the opposite. Raw damage. Guaranteed crits. Never mind. One guaranteed crit. But yeah, as you can see there, insane damage from him. And as I said, really slapping him on the glue eater as he did right now. And he quit, of course. I would too. Is that he does really crit. So that's why you need Lodosio. We not really need him. It's just he's nice to have. If you have this, you can basically rest assured that you most of the time you will be able to one turn an enemy and also take away take away res because everyone will be using uh, Goddess Liz still and then take it away again. Hopefully I can face like a glue eater and show you guys what I mean. There's actually a bunch of people playing uh, elite PvP right now. The same guy. Can I get the lucky mergers? He quit. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Well, yeah, there you guys have it. That's how strong he is. He makes people rage quit before you even get into the match. Uh, okay, I'll do I'll do one more. And then, this won't be the last video of the one, of course. I have plenty of other teams with him. And I'll also be doing teams that actually counter the one. So if you want to destroy the one, if that's your thing. Because you, if you don't, oh, I think it's the same person. Will he leave again? Let's see. He left again. Okay. I'll do I'll do one more until we face a real player. But as you saw there, I got two level three, so for sure he would have got killed twice. Without a doubt. Two level threes from Escanor if you can get that merger. That's why you always want to, always want to put Escanor on the left or any like DPS unit on the left. Look, here we have the same team. Is this Kabuki? Is this actually him? Hold on. If this is him, this is actually kind of cool. If not, then oh well. Probably his bot. We didn't even crit and we one shot at him still. Didn't crit on him, unlucky. But as you can see here, even if this is Kabuki's bot, he is, yeah, it is, it's his bot. He is running the same team, because this is the best team for Escanor, if you can build it. Uh, I guess here, though. I'll upgrade the Dosio. Do this, and then do a level 3, just because. You should get that Goater down. Yep. No problem. Level 3 AoE. Won't do the double rupture. Because they don't have a buff. But whatever. Can I get some Eskimo cards? Alright, one. And we'll go for that Odosio. I do get full debuff immunity and max passive this next turn. So, let's see how much damage you do against Odosio. Who has pretty high stats. Full passive, 18% boost to all of my stats. 233,000 damage. Yeah. He's broken. He's so good. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get any other cards for him, so I guess I'll just have to finish it off. I'll do this, do this, and then ult. Because due to the current PvP rule, it is annoying if you ult someone and you don't kill him. Because if you don't kill them, they recover 50% of their HP. And they also get 3 orbs. On top of that. But yeah. There you guys have it. Basically the one in a nutshell on the crit team. Which is, as I said, in my opinion, the best team. And if you can build it, I would say build it. It's worth it. However, I wouldn't say to build it if you don't have Lodosio at least like 4-6. Because dupes are a must on him. And Death Pierce, if you don't want to invest in him, then probably also another reason. Because let me show you real quick. I didn't show you guys my Death Pierce before I end today's video. Look at that. He has 51,000 HP. And the reason he has that is mostly because... Oh, hold on. What happened? Oh, reset. 
is because of this. All of his costumes are completely maxed out. Every single one. Which that took a long, lot of time and a lot of uh, costume upgrades. He's also 6'6", so max DC from that. And his gear, as you can see, 14, 14.8. I'd actually have some couple hammers I need to use on that. 14.1, 15, and 15 on the on the HP. And then I don't really give UR's pieces to the defense on the on the right side. But let me show you guys real quick my Escanor gear. He is actually a beast on this one though. 15%, 15%, 15, 15, 14.1, and 13.8. I gotta work on these defense pieces, but they don't really matter as much when it comes to CC. But you know, he's rocking almost 14.3 thousand attack and 130 thousand HP and seven almost 8 thousand defense. 51,311 CC. And he's only 4.6, so I'm missing two dupes. So that's an additional 800 CC that we're missing out on. And I've started to work on his uh, costumes. I have, I bought all of them. So I have all of these. I'll, of course, be upgrading these to max. Probably in around a week or two. But yeah. That's basically it. There you guys have it. The one is an absolute beast. Look out for him in my future videos where I'll be showing off with him more. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.